Alright, what's up guys? Ninja Deathstrike here, bringing you another Pokemon Showdown match. Uh, once again, I am in the top for the first battle. So this is me up here. Pretty much the same team I used last time, I'm still trying to refine it. Uh, I did make a switch, switched out Registeel for Rhyperior, because I think he's got a lot more offensive presence, and I really need so needed something that could uh, punch some holes into stallier teams. Which, turns out, is exactly what I'm up against. Uh, my opponent's team, down there on the bottom, is super stally. We've got Nidoqueen, Kalfagrigus, Snorlax, and Slowbro, who are all are a pain in the ass to take down. And then um, two sweepers there at the end, Miss Magus and Bisharp. So, the main challenge for me this match is just going to be wearing them down, uh, damaging the guys. You know, there's not one big threat that really stands out, but I need to be careful that I don't just get status and killed slowly. So, main thing is going to be trying to prevent him from setting up hazards and um, statusing my guys. So let's go ahead and get into the match. Um, I decide to lead with Crobatman just because it is so stally. I figured I wanted the option to taunt on the first turn, but he decides to lead with Slowbro, and so I just U-turn out into Roly Poly, absorb the status. I really needed to scout and see whether it was Spexed or not, and it, it turns out it's not, so that's good. I can switch out, get rid of the Perilous, and as Snorlax comes in, I hit it with a Leech Seed, which is fantastic because Snorlax, Snorlax is great Leech Seed fodder, so. That Fire Punch does a lot. I'm not sure if that thing is banded, but I kind of think it is. I never I never know for sure, but um, I assumed it was, so I switch into Big Fugly, get my rocks up, and uh, then go into Biff and hit Slowbro with a Toxic. So that's going to be nice, always nice to Toxic Walls, uh, even though Slowbro can kind of get around it thanks to Regenerator. But here we end up making a double switch that's advantageous for him. Uh, Roly Poly can't really do anything against Ms. Magus, so I switch out into Pop Tarts instead, who is going to U-turn out, break that sub, and go into Crow Batman. Uh, she sets up a nasty plot, but whatever. Crow Batman's faster and just obliterates Ms. Magus with a Brave Bird, so that's good. Kofag Rays comes in, just taunt it because I know it's going to want to do something annoying. Look at that, it does. He shows me that he has Trick Room, and, uh,. That's going to be something to keep in mind, because my team is very quick, and trick, or, trick Room kind of wrecks it, so I go into Biff here, completely telegraph the Toxic, and he just switches into Bisharp to uh, get the immunity. Uh, now, in this battle, I completely screwed up my Blastoise somehow. It ended up, it ended up with Surf and Waterfall, and not Roar, um, so... That kind of sucks, but I still managed to take out the Bisharp, luckily. And then he goes into Nidoqueen, who uh, goes for Dragon Tail, which seems strange. Um, I guess he way over-predicted there, but it ends up costing him Nidoqueen, because I just destroy it with a Surf, and then uh, finish it off with Whiskers, going for a U-turn, or going for a Fake Out. So Slowbro comes in next. A U-turn out. I go into Pop-Tarts here just because I, I thought he still might have Flamethrower, expecting Shaman to come in, but he just goes for the Scald. I do not take it very well, but I do survive, and I'm able to get some U-turn Volt Switch shenanigans going on here. U-turn uh, out. Uh, Volt Switch out to Whiskers, then U-turn out to Crow Batman, and I'm just going to taunt again. I don't want that that trick room set up. He does predict that. It goes for the shadow wall, but that's fine. It doesn't actually hurt that much. Um, so after I get him taunted, I'm going to switch into Big Fugly here and just hit it as hard as I can. That's the plan. He switches into Slowbro, and here I'm definitely going to make a misplay. Uh, if I go for the Earthquake here, I just kill Slowbro. I don't think Scald would have been enough to kill me because it's not Spexed, and I do have Solid Rock. So instead, I switch into Roly Poly, and I miss the opportunity to kill that Slowbro, which would have been huge. Um, however, I'm still in decent position. I know that he can't stay in, so I get a sub up, then I get a Leech Seed up. Kofagriga shows that it doesn't have hidden power Ice, I'm assuming, since it Blastoise resisted it, and Shaman doesn't. Um, but now I can't actually taunt it, so I have no way to prevent the Trick Room from going up, and that's a problem. Uh, I do get Crobatman in, but a turn too late, 
and now I'm just going to have to sacrifice stuff. Uh, I switch out, or I U-turn out, as he sets up a nasty plot, and that's bad. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't go for the Hidden Power Ice there, but whatever. Um, I guess, I don't know, but it lets me Dragon Tail him out. Uh, it does still cost me Rhyperior in the end, though, because Slowbro is going to be faster in the Trick Room. Take him out with a Scald, and that's not a huge deal. Rhyperior didn't have a whole lot to offer anymore. Um, but now things start going south. Uh, I predict the switch again, get up a sub, but I miss my Leech Seed, so that's kind of a big deal. I can still get it this turn, though. Uh, uh, no, I can't. So I miss Leech Seed twice in a row. That's, I think, a 95% accurate move. Um, missed twice in a row, and that pretty much cost me the game because it forces me to sacrifice my Shaman. Otherwise, I would have been able to stall the Snorlax out. Um, and now I'm just going to kind of get screwed over by min damage uh, for a while. <laughs> Here, the U-turn fails to kill. I go for it again. It fails to kill it again. The first one, I think, probably would have lived no matter what. But the second one, I think I had a chance to kill it there. And I failed. So I take some extra hits that I did not need to take. And... Um, yeah, I went from in a really strong position to a really shitty one real fast. Uh, I have to U-turn out here because I cannot allow Mindchild to get paralyzed. If I have any chance of killing Snorlax, I need him alive. So I'm forced to have Crow Batman paralyzed, and I just need to hit it as hard as I can. And I actually could have killed it right here, but I'm fully paralyzed, so that's cool. Um, if I got a Brave Bird off that turn, pretty sure it dies to Toxic, but instead, uh, I die. So, I have to bring Whiskers in here. I know I'm safe to high jump kick, he doesn't have an option, but the main issue is going to be that Slowbro now has Regenerator. I don't want to go for the Fake Out here, although I definitely should have. I just go for the U-turn, because before, it did 39% damage, so I figured... It'll do that again, but it doesn't. It does min damage, and then I lose. So that was definitely a frustrating match. I think I could have won uh, if I'd made a couple different moves, but I actually think I should have won had I not gotten screwed over by the hacks. I really do feel like I played better than he did, but what can you do? Hacks happen, so that's going to do it for that match. Uh, going into the next one, it's pretty much the complete opposite of what happened the first match. Here we just have a hyper-offensive team. I am on the bottom this time, like I'm supposed to be, but you can see my opponent pretty much has six sweepers. Uh, no rocks, no spinner. And three of his guys are weak to stealth rocks. So getting stealth rocks up is going to be a major priority. And uh, other than that, it's just going to be not letting him set up. You know, all of those things I can deal with, but... If any one of them kind of gets set up, they could pose a threat. So uh, I'm just going to have to prevent them from setting up as much as possible. So let's go ahead and get into the match. Uh, I lead with Whiskers because he doesn't have anything that's going to want to take a fake out. Uh, I win the speed tie here, I think. Yeah, because he misses high jump kick the next turn. So that was pretty big deal. I mean, it lost him his mind shell and it saved me mine. So... Uh, definitely some advantageous hacks right there in the beginning, but it is going to uh, come around in the end and kind of even out. So, Miss Magus comes in here as I go into the Choice Scars Rotom after the U-turn. I just go for Taunt because I don't want it to set up a Nasty Plot. He does predict that, or he doesn't have Nasty Plot, and he just goes for the Shadow Ball. Now, I could have broken the sub with Brave Bird, but I wasn't sure I'd survive the Shadow Ball as well, and I don't want to lose Kuro Batman just because he's so fast. Uh, and really a big threat to this guy's team. So instead, I switch out to Biff and just roar it out since I had fixed his moves at this point. Yamega yeah, is going to take me out with a Life Orb Bug Buzz, but I'm pretty sure he won't be able to one-shot Big Fugly. So I get my rocks up. That's priority number one down. And it turns out he can't even two-hit me thanks to Solid Rock. So I actually get to stay in and attack and just destroy Yamega yeah, with a Stone Edge. Uh, so that works for me. A Weevil comes in next, goes for the Ice Punch. I just sacrificed Big Fugly. He did his job. He's not really going to do a whole lot else uh, in this match, so I'll let him go. Uh, bring in Whiskers, and I know that he's not going to want to stay in, so I just U-turn out to Crow Batman. And now that Miss Me just doesn't have a substitute up, it is Brave Bird fodder. 
It's what Crobat does all day, every day. Kills Miss Magus with Brave Bird. Raikou comes in. Um, I don't know if it's a substitute combine set, so I just go for the taunt because I want to be safe. Again, one of my priorities was not letting him set stuff up. So I sacrifice Crobat Man in order to ensure that he can't, and then um, Pop Tarts the Rotom is just going to take down the Raikou, which is nice. Uh, Crobat comes in, I have to switch since I'm super weak. So I go into Roly Poly, knowing that he probably won't go for Brave Bird. I assumed he was just going to U-turn out since he knew I had to switch. Um, Weevil comes in, and I get crit. So I think I could have survived that had I not gotten crit, but it does definitely make up for him losing his Mind Chow early, so whatever. Fair is fair. Um, now Whiskers is in against Crobat Man. Uh, not Crobat Man, that's my Crobat. Whiskers is in against Crobat, and I can't bring in Rotom, but it's not a big deal because I can just let Whiskers die and then um, Volt Switch for the win. So that was an insanely fast match that was pretty much the exact opposite of the last one. Uh, hopefully you guys liked both of them. Give me a thumbs up. If you did, leave me a comment, please. I enjoy reading those. Check out the links in the description, and I'll have more coming away shortly. Thanks, guys.